Hey guys, welcome back to the land of the Pharaohs. I'm Sajuk, and we're going into the second intermediate period here. Um, if you want to see the mini movie that comes before this little choice screen, uh, you can click on to Kamun, go back to the playlist, and you can watch it just at the start there. So on this part, we are going to head into Sauti or Lycopolis for inspiration. Now, given that Kamun or Hermopolis was the military mission, I can't see this one having too much military. But there might still be some military, just not any attacks against us. So let's head to Sorte and find out what inspiration means. O oh, king of the two lands, Egypt cries out for your help. The menacing Hyksos have invaded our land and have set up their own capital at Rowarty. From Rowarty, they have disrupted many of our trade routes. We must stop their conquest before it is too late. Here at Salty, we are safe from immediate attack. Although the Hyksos have the gall to demand tribute. We may need to supply troops and arms to our compatriots in the north to help repel the Hyksos incursion. They will look to you, almighty Pharaoh, for support. But now, we too have a new weapon. Our wise military leaders have become proficient in the use of the dreaded chariot and we shall turn it back upon our enemies and drive them before us. If only our trouble was limited to the north. Reports from our southern border show that the Nubians are once again taking advantage of a distracted Egypt. They have reclaimed the southern cities of Aiken and Heh. If Egypt is to emerge intact from these turbulent times, much will be required of your generals in the field and on the river. To inspire your two best generals, you have promised to build each of them a pyramid as spectacular as your own. Holding your promise in their hearts, they are fiercely combating the foe, calling upon all their strength and sinew. If it pleases you, mighty Pharaoh, you should build three magnificent pyramids at Saudi. One for yourself and one for each of your generals. These three pyramids will take up considerable space so you will need to surrender some valuable resources in order to accommodate them. You may also need to extend your city across the Nile to avail yourself of all the resources needed for this city to flourish. And indeed we're going to need this city to flourish because look at these goals, 6,500 people, which is a very odd number. Uh, culture 70 maxed out, that's actually as high as you can get without zoos, so basically maxed culture. Uh, Prosperity 75, now cast your mind back to Sao in the Middle Kingdom. I managed to get 71 with just um, three blocks of fancy residences and one at common residence. Now the, ch the conditions are going to be different this time so we are not going to be able to meet this without manners. Uh, Monument 40 and Kingdom 60. Uh, but it says that there's not much space and these monuments are going to consume space for no reasons. But we'll find out more about that. And this is pretty much a mirror image of Kamun, the Hyksos have attacked, blah blah blah. But it looks as if the Hyksos are going to demand tribute from us every so often. We may have to pay them off just to build up our city, um, blah blah blah. And we're going to build a couple of pyramids as it says. So we're continuing on hard mode, let's head to the city. Slow time down and pause. So we start with 9,000 D-bins. Now I can tell you right now, there's no rescue fund, so again, 9,000 has got to last a while. Um, nice normal climate, a little bit of these are in the way though, gets in the way. And all three monuments are medium mud brick pyramids. Got a nice bit of floodplain here, what can we grow? One food type and flax, so again, we have to import food to get any higher. And what I'm going to probably do is just do common residences and set up a manor area somewhere. Now this little island here is quite nice. Uh, we can actually set up a pyramid on there. Now if we put a pyramid here, this will save a lot of trouble because then we won't have to try and cram it in into other places. I'm probably going to have one pyramid here, possibly one here, I'm not too sure. I may not do this one right down there. Or I may have two just in this corner here and the remaining space can be for other things. So I could have a bit of a housing block down here. There's a lot of space here, but as I said, we are going to have to cross the Nile. Again, limited coastline down here, where the, much of the important stuff is. But we can put down things like a water lift and make use of some of this uh, land here. And there's a good about a straight line coast here, so I will probably put down a whole load of warships over here. 
uh, for any distant battles. We do have to put Rude though for that. Um, Osiris Ra Seth. Osiris is the patron, so um, unfortunately there's no barley on this map, uh, so we have to import that from a trade partner, so we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, clay pit, play, again, but what's with the plainstone quarries? We don't need them, we didn't need them in, uh, what was it, Kamun? And we don't need them here. What is this area like with plainstone quarries? Uh, we do need limestone, but we can't make straw, because there's no grain, so we have to import that. But we do have clay pits so we can make our own pottery and we can import straw to make bricks, which is fine. Uh, gemstone mines are going to be imported because that's actually our only export is luxury goods. This is exactly like Kaboom, it's in one export economy. This time though, setting it up is much more expensive. Um, one thing to note is that you can actually build weapon smiths here, but there's actually no copper source. So you can't actually set up uh, infantry, it's only archers and charioteers. And annoyingly, charioteers require to import wood, so... Um, we have to import it anyway because we have to build the monuments with it, but still, it's a rather annoying thing that they put that there for, it's no real reason behind it. Let's have a look at trade. So again, nothing to the cephalus, there's no uh, trade with Pwenet um, this time around, so we don't need to worry about that. Here we are at Sauté. Menak Khufu says barley and beer, so we can trade pretty much with them to get the barley and beer. Not a lot of barley, but we can su supplement beer imports with barley production, so we can get about 4,000 beer a year, which is okay. Given that we've got the temple complex to Osiris, we should be fine. Ejitai sells meat and straw. They also sell papyrus. Uh, this is going to be imported, we're going to need to import straw from there. That's actually the only source of straw, so we're going to have to import that. Man Affair sells papyrus. They also buy luxury goods, and that's pretty much all. Bubastis sells wood and papyrus and buys luxury goods. So we're going to have to rely on Man Affair and Bubastis to make money. Because, I mean, we can sell beer to Age of Toy, but there's no point. I have to import barley for that, so that's a wasted trade route. And given that we don't have rescue funds, I don't want to go into too much debt. Otherwise, it'll be a struggle to get out of it. How much is luxury goods worth again? So 150 It is worth more than beer. But the cost of setting up um, the gemstone mines is quite high. So these are only trade routes and only two of them buy stuff. Um, actually one thing to note is only one additional trade route will open and that is to Karma. Um, and that trade route to Karma will provide you an import luxury good. But if you do that you actually cut off your only export. So unless you've got like shit tons of cash and you're making a load of profit from taxes. We're not going to be making anything higher than stately manners. On this one for the prosperity goal. Um, so yeah, we have to set up jewellery. Pretty much as our only export. I will um, set up Bubasis. Although they cost more, we can get wood from there. Which I'll import a little bit of. Not tons, but just enough to support any distant battles. Excuse me. And uh, one thing to note. On most guides online, it says that this mission no longer becomes winnable. It is true in a sense. Um, that this mission can become unwinnable, so I was just trying to check what track was playing there. Um, Bubasis will ask for troops at one point, and if you don't send troops, this trade route will be cut and you'll lose your wood. That will then start off a chain of events to send troops to Ejitoy over and over again in various other cities. But of course, if you don't have wood and you don't have warships, the city, you basically can't win because you lose all your trade routes. Um, so there's no point in trying to lose Bubasis, we have to save them when they ask for troops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up a housing block just here. We are going to go straight into setting up luxury goods. That is our only export. Now I could set that up here. There's six mines down here. But there's a load more over here. But unfortunately, I mean, I could. But we're limited in how much we can sell any case. I'm not too sure if I'll set it up down here. Because I could put down one, two, three... Four, five, six down here, but I can set up a lot more around this area here. I can set up quite a number, actually. I can set up quite a lot. A lot more here than it is down here. Can't unfortunately get any down here because these rock, the sand dunes are in the way. And this is too far away from any uh, trading area. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up a housing block on this island here. Uh, I'm not too sure what style we'll go for. Probably the five wide one, I'm not too sure, but we'll, we'll set up a housing block here 
and I'll come back in once we've got our gem mine industry running. Okay, so here's the housing block I'm going for. I'm going to go for my long one that's five wide. Um, I'm not too sure if this is the right length. If it isn't, I'll just extend it by however many tiles it's needed. So all I'm going to have is a dock right here. The luxury goods are going to go right here because there's more than enough. I've put down five of these and there's more enough space to put down pretty much as many gem mines as I want. But we have run through a lot of our cash. Let's just make sure taxes are at zero. You can see we spent nearly 6,000 setting this up. Um, I'm thinking about where I'm putting ones. One is certainly going on this centre island, because there's nothing to put there. There's no way to put any sort of housing block on there. So we will have a monument there and I can still have a road go around the outside if I need to connect a shortcut through or something. Uh, a monument will go down here somewhere. I'm not too sure if I'll put it there or there. It'll depend on how I feel. And then another one will go up here. This is space, it's just a bit too small for uh, a housing block. I could set up a housing, uh, just a standard common block if I need it, but I, it would support a mana block. I will need a mana block here. Now the idea I'm going to go for is a housing block here, two of my big ones I used in Kamun and Bubastis here, and then potentially just with a housing blocks, whatever else, uh, if I start to run to aging. Because the problem with this map is that aging is a real problem because we have to build the same monument three times, so it takes the exact same length of time three times basically, if you know what I mean. We have to basically go through that one monument once and then triple it. So you have to do however long it takes to do one monument and then multiply it by three for how long we're going to be on this map, which is a long time, especially given that these goals are so high. Kingdom should be easy enough to meet because it's not that high and we can just give ourselves gifts and all that later. So yeah, we've got the industry set up, we can't do anything else, and I'll come back in once our luxury goods are getting produced. Okay, we're producing our first luxury goods, we've got two of them, and these are starting to come up to full strength as the workers start to pour. We're only short by, what's this, seven workers, which are all in this one jeweler at the end, which is fine. We're producing more than enough gems to keep all of this stockpiled, which is what I want. Uh, once we start to get a bit of gem overload and we've got enough workers, I will put down more uh, jewelers here, which will be fine. So we've got four. Um, I'm going to wait for this to stockpile to at least 1,200 so that when the trade boats from Bubastis come through, they will pay for themselves by buying up all of it. One thing to note is that Bubastis only needs to buy three luxury goods and they are paid for themselves. So that's not a problem. I've also got ahead to put down the dock and you can see here there is a yard accepting pomegranates. Um, I do know there are some rather hefty requests early on for pomegranates and they will um, result in that Kerma trade route opening but I want to make sure we can meet them because um, that will help a lot. We've got 500 in the city which isn't taking too long at all and we've got no unemployment problems. So I'm just going to keep on going. Uh, we're producing luxury goods as fast as we can here. They are quite slow production but at least we don't have to wait for a harvest unlike in Kamu where the, the barley was the, the limiter really. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come back in once we're ready to start selling luxury goods when the trade boat from Bubastis is here. Okay, there's the city of He falling, just like it did in Kamun. I assume we'll get told that uh, Aiken will have fallen too. Uh, we do have some unemployment, so I'll just put down a, a work camp here. And we can just keep stockpiling on the pomegranates for now. We'll just put down a bunch of them right here. I'll just wait for him to get away so that I can properly roadblock this. There we go. So we'll get all of this far. We'll just stockpile them in a yard for now. Um, I should be able to get as many as I can here. Unfortunately the problem is that there are crocodiles actually on the floodplain which doesn't really help. Um, this one at the end will not get in. I I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and get as many as I can in, in basic lines and see how we do. Here we go, we've got 1300 luxury goods, we're actually getting some uh, gem surplus here which is good. Uh, no one else is going to move in though, so I'm just going to have to leave it at that. Uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and open up the trade route to Bubastis. 450 is a bit expensive, but it's okay, we can sell off loads of luxury goods, all of them. Uh, it's going to drive us near debt, now hopefully we can sell all of this off before we go into debt, because that'd be a record if I can do that. In some of these late game missions it tends to be quite difficult to avoid debt, uh, usually because there are many other challenges and you have to rush quite a bit. So we've got, what's this, 1500, 1600 luxury goods, 
So by the next, the second trade boat, we should have another 1100 to sell. So we just speed this up. Uh, one thing to know is that when the flood is down, when it's covered, I when the flood plays are covered, the boats have a tendency to go right through this bit, so they can drown occasionally, which is not going to be helpful, but that's okay. We've got 1800 luxury goods already. They produce actually a lot quicker than I was expecting. Let's just have a look at the gods. They are a little displeased. We can sort that with shrines. We'll just wait for the sails to come through though. Our cash is going to be sorted. Look at that. All that money. We could just put down a couple of extra shrines I think here. Just keep the gods nice and happy. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until the next harvest, the harvest after this one. And once we've done that, I will start to feed this little housey block. And I'll also go ahead and check just to make sure that this is the right life. I don't think it is, but I will make sure. So yeah, money's sorted. We've got another 1100 ready for the next trade boat, which is fine. Um, so yeah, I'll just come back in later if anything of interest happens. Okay, so I have gone ahead and extended this loop to just one more tile so it's now the proper length. I've also gone ahead to put out a granary, just set to get uh, pomegranates. Um, once uh, this harvest comes in, I will start to feed the people because we will have pomegranates stockpiling. Uh, not making as many luxury goods now as we were, but we were, here, we were able to sell at the 3300 quota. In fact, that was basically 1100 times 3. We were able to max out the trade boat each time. We're not getting too much money, but we are getting enough to just to be able to do some light construction. Not heavy construction, certainly not importing wood right now. Um, I will have to set up a little bit down here, but what I'll do is I will set up a little bit down here once we have started to feed people and we're getting a lot of unemployment. Uh, we might need a few more uh, jewelers as well, I'm not too sure, but we will need additional gem mines as well. Now, I will probably actually just go ahead and... Uh, if I do that, that will not work because it's So let's just put a roadblock there. That should be enough um, walker access for you. One, two... And then we'll just do a bit of a loop there. And I'm going to have it that these guys will come down here and they'll be serviced by a different set of uh, people. So that will provide us more um, gemstone mines as needed. Um, yeah, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. We are just selling out luxury goods as is when we can. We're not really doing anything else with the bastards at this point. We are able to make enough money from this though, but we do need people to keep these jewelers running it maximum efficiency. You can see some of them are poor access to workers and things like that, but that, that's fine. I'm not too sure if I just put two, two of these down and just have a complete loop. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it, but that, that's not a problem right now. So right now I just need to keep the city going, keep it stable and keep the gods happy as well, which they are. And I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, so I have stockpiled luxury goods for a little while, just stopped exporting them just for uh, a little while. Uh, so we have now got enough there, and what was that, Mr. Request? Great vessel to Seth. Icon has fallen to invading forces. What's more, the city of Karma requests that you send 1600 pomegranates for a great vessel to Seth. And they need it in six months. Well, we do have that, just missed that because I right clicked through it. Um, there we go, so we'll send that off. Now that um, will come through again and it will be for a whole yard basically which will not be very useful. Low on cash but that's okay the trade boats are coming through to buy up all of our luxury goods that we've been stockpiling for a little while. We're producing enough gems that um, this uh, they are sitting around a little bit so every so often I am just building another jeweler. Uh, once the next trade boat comes through we'll actually no, sorry let's just build another one. Um, and I've also got ahead, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have uh, sorted out this route into a loop so there's now enough space for more gem mines, which will be fine. Now we have enough pomegranate farms, I think, to support this housing block so far. But we do need to make some money, and um, if the hikes will start demanding things from us, we will want to keep them on site. It's just... There we go, whole load of money, 1200 gone. So that's going to be a nice bit of profit. We could do that basically another couple of times and we will exhaust that supply. Once that happens and we're no longer able to sell any more today, we will just open up the treasure to Men Nefer and just keep it up, basically. Um, I will also try to import some wood, I think, from Bubastis at some point. Um, let me just um, set this up now. Yeah, so we'll start to import wood from Bubastis once we've got a huge amount of income. I've also gone ahead to set up a little bit down here for the, the ship, right? Because we are going to need that. 
and unemployment's starting to go up a little bit. I think that just basically means we need more gem mines, but I don't think we need them right now. We've got enough to support all of this, so that's okay. I think the next adventure I need to do is import the wood and set up some ship, um, ship right, so some warships over here because we will need them. And with that unemployment, it will help quite a bit, but I need the money first. So I'll just keep on going. I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, so we have opened up the trade route to Menefer because we just can't make enough money from selling stuff to Bubasis. One thing to know, I don't know why, but the trade routes of Bubasis and Menefer don't actually draw anywhere near to Sauté. For some reason they are drawn as if they end at Menet Khufu. Now, I don't know why that that is done. It sounds like a mistake as if they thought that this was a the mission Menet Khufu, I don't know. But for whatever reason, uh, the trade routes of Bubasis and Menefer are drawn to here. It doesn't affect anything, let me tell you. This is just a visual thing because it's just a manual drawing so uh, it doesn't affect anything that this goes to here, it just looks stupid. Uh, the Ijitoi, Menet Khufu and later Karma uh, all draw to the correct, correct location so it's not a problem, it just looks weird. I've also gone ahead and imported some wood with the money that we got off of Robastis on the last trade. So we've imported some wood, we're starting to construct some warships which are going to just sit over here. And every time we get money, we are just going to put down more of them and just boost our city as well. We have quite a bit of unemployment, so we don't need to do that just yet. Um, yeah, they've just bought another bit there, so that's good. So we're making money. I did actually put down another gem mine because we are just a little low in some of them. As you can see, some of them are sitting idle. We could just put down another gem mine there. And just sort of make sure that we're uh, maximising efficient use of this space so that we're not wasting anything. And we'll just uh, do that. Uh, let's just check damage risks. Um, not too bad. I have got two of them wandering around, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. One of them should eventually just decide to go up there, so 50% chance. So yeah, we're just going to continue going. We're making enough luxury goods so we can sell at least a quarter every so often, which is all that matters. Money is going up. And yeah, uh, what's this? Because Seth is still dissatisfied, the city of Kyra wants another 1600 pomegranates. We don't have any. And I hope the harvest is soon. It will be. I'm actually going to set this to stockpile. There's actually like 80 in there, but that's not helpful. Now, unfortunately, the way this is done is that there's going to be a wasted farm there, but I'm going to put it that the road is on this bit here so I can get to that farm. Because it doesn't make sense to waste a farm, in my opinion. We want all of this used up because there's not a lot of floodplain here for a city of six and a half. And we will need some of this meadow land as well, I think. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Well, would you look at that? Because we sent uh, the 1600 public guys to Karma and help, help them celebrate that great festival. Look at our trade over there, let's have a look. They sell us ebony. This is a very expensive land trader, but they do buy a little bit more jewelry. We could also set up some linen industries and sell some uh, linen over there to Karma. Um, that's a lot of money to not get too much money back. So we would have to basically, I think, sell all linen and all luxury goods to them and we just might break back the money. As you know, 10 luxury goods to them uh, would uh, pay back for that. So it's not too bad, but I don't want to consider that right now. now. I was just thinking about where I want to put down all of my stuff for making charities. We are going to set up a charioteer company or two on this one. Uh, we will need them for some distant battles later. I'm um, probably just going to set up a couple of them down here. I'm not too sure where I'll put them. But we all have a couple of charioteer companies. But right now, I don't have the money to focus on that. We need to really boost um, this quite a significant amount. Um, I'm also just putting down as many gem mines as I can. We can't seem to produce enough gems to keep all these active. Because they're always stats. So they are producing quite quickly. But hopefully we'll be able to produce as, many, as much as I can. Maybe cut down some of these ones and put them in the inner loop. And maybe we could have the academy here. We'll also go ahead to put down more shrines just to keep the gods nice and happy. Look at all the anks that Osiris has got. Uh, the others are coming up as well. So yeah, we've got our only additional trade route on this map. So this has got five of them. And that's all we're going to get for the remainder of this mission. We're just going to have to rely basically on our Egyptian trade partners for this one. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on going and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, so we are producing chariots. I, I'm importing some wood out of uh, uh, Bubastis here. Not tons, just enough to keep it going, but I haven't mentioned 
Uh, chariot makers produce insanely quickly. Um, I mean, we've got uh, 15 chariots, and it's not taking me very long to get that. I mean, that's up to 45%. Um, over here, you can see I put down another housing block. I'm just trying to start to tap the other resources of this area. Um, unfortunately, due to the way this is placed, I can't get an irrigation ditch in there. And it is going to require me to sort of zigzag it through the, the floodplains a bit. I'll just do that for now. I will... Uh, sort it later but unfortunately some of these uh, farms in this centre bit will probably not get too much irrigation but that's okay. I've also got three warships I don't think we're going to need too much more than that. Um, I'm also going to start working on stockpiling limestone. We do have this down now. They do require 24,000 bricks and 432 blocks of limestone. Now because all of the monuments are the exact same one that basically means we need um. I'm not sure how much that is, but we're going to need um, 24,000 times 3 and 432 times 3, whatever that is, someone can work that out. Um, we are going to do the limestone around this bottom bit because it's more than enough space. Uh, so we'll just put down a couple of limestone quarries here. And what I'll do is I'll just put a little corner house there. That can go there. We'll put a firehouse and we'll do two architects posts on the end. Uh, one police station like so. So you should all get access to that stuff which is going to be useful. And uh, we're going to just stockpile power guys here. You are spawning on the wrong side of that thing which doesn't help. Um, let's just put you in the right place. Right there. Just check we've got no requests. Nope, that's good. So we are selling enough luxury goods to keep us in the black. Um, maybe just a little too much, but it's okay. We are, we're just selling them infrequently. We're getting enough jewellery as it is, so I don't think it's a concern anymore. I know this goes inactive for a little while, but we are importing enough wood to just keep this going. Uh, let me just set this to empty. So it sends all 200 wood out, and then I can get basically another 200. So, bit of, bit of cheating. Uh, bit of really cheating. I have got this up to Audrey Cottage. We will uh, provide them with... Um, Pottery, that's why I set this area up. We are going to feed this block and make this as our pottery little dump because we can put down pretty much all the clay pits we want around this outer bit. Um, I will leave a 4x4 four four space there for the granary to go there, or I might just put the granary over here, I'm not too sure. But we have plenty of space here for clay pits and pottery production will just go out this a little bit as well. But we can just extend this block possibly just a little bit more, like so. So yeah, we are just going to keep on going and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, a little bit of extortion here. Because Roarty lusts for glory, the city of Roarty wants a thousand demons in six months. We can pay that off. Uh, one thing to note is that these extortions and requests from Roarty can be paid off pretty much indefinitely and nothing will happen in terms of trade. Um, once you fail to fulfill an extortion or um, city request goods or anything from Roarty for money, um, we will uh, have to have our armies developed. So we're just going to pay them off and just keep earning money to keep paying them off. I will have to probably set up the city palace probably here. Yeah, we can just do that there. And we'll start to tax people and uh, start to make some additional income because we are running out of luxury goods in places and I'd like to get these uh, houses evolved as well. I put down a bazaar right there as well. Set to buying pomegranates. I think the first block we will evolve with pottery is this one here because it's going to be right next to the source. But we have stockpiled enough chariots that we can fill out two uh, companies of charioteers, which is fine. Uh, we just need to get more um, jewellery though. That's the only problem. We are short on quite a bit of number of employees, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm just going to keep paying off those requests from Roarty. Um, I will show a few more of them, but I will uh, eventually just stop showing them. I'm only going to come back in once we have, uh, we're deciding to no longer pay off Roarty when we have enough military to take them on. Okay, another little bit of extortion. Even though you gave it to the demands of Roarty for a thousand demons, uh, Roarty wants another a thousand demons. Well, we do have that. We're just going to pay them off again. So what I've done is I've got this block all evolved, we're going to get loads of unemployment and that's going to allow me to set up the clay pit industry. So we're going to do one, two, three, so three four, um, I'm going to try getting as many as I can in this back end space here. There you go, there's efficiencies, so just get a few in the back there like so. 
Now hopefully these two will be able to go up and down that little bit every so often. If not, it will be a bit of a shame, but that's not too much of a problem. Um, I may move this around a little bit. In fact, let's just do that. Let's just delete that. We're going to move this down one tile, like so. We're going to just make it a totally easy to understand block, like so. Just get rid of that tower. I had built a tower there, but it's not like it's going to be of any use. Um, we're going to just get rid of all these pomegranates into the granary here. And I'll have the yard over here somewhere. And this could just be all pottery down here. We can't sell it, so we don't need a huge pottery industry. So one, two, three, four, five, six should be more than enough, I think. I think so, in any case. Uh, let me just put a little block right there. Uh, I'll just put these down here as well. Okay, so we'll set this up and we'll just keep on going. And we're just going to keep paying off royalty until we're ready to fight them off. We have enough chariots being produced. I want to stockpile on chariots so I don't need to import wood for a while. Because uh, we have three warships, we don't need to worry there. I hope you can get out in time. Oh, you will. You crafty little fucker from my effort. Just getting through there before the flood happens. He must be, he has a, a fifth sense or something. Okay, what's this? The people of Karma are losing hope for famine has struck Karma, and his people are sorry to send a whole yard of pomegranates in 12 months. Basically, Anne Roarty wants 1500 demons, we'll just pay you off, and we'll just send off those. Oh no, we don't have enough. Uh, so hopefully in the next season, we'll get enough pomegranates to send that off. I have gone ahead and just put down pretty much as many farms as I can without sacrificing irrigation. Now I hope and uh, I can sort this later by when I put down more farms here. Um, I'm not too sure about the linen industry. I will need some flax fields somewhere. Now, I'm not too sure if I'll do just a uh, regular uh, meadowland farming for that, or if I'll just convert some of these pomegranates into something else, but we will uh, keep an eye on that. Now, I have gone ahead and put down the other monument on this uh, landmass. I will block in some of these monuments to make sure that one of them gets completed first. Uh, this centre one I will try and get completed first because then I don't need this connection at all when that happens. So I will keep an eye on this, make sure this is getting through and all that. And I'll just keep stockpiling limestone as best as I can. And while I'm doing that I will try to evolve house because we are going to need some people. We are short by a bit. We're at nearly 3,000 which is good. Once we get these up to a spacious apartment, spacious residence rather, we should be fine. We have got a lot more clay than we need, but that's okay. The clay overload is going to be fine because we do have to import straw from Ejitai. They have increased their trade quotas of meat, straw and bricks to pretty much maximum, so we don't need to worry too much there. Uh, so we can get pretty much infinite straw, infinite bricks, we shouldn't have a problem. We can also get loads of meat from two trade partners, which is not too much of a problem. So I might try, if I get enough meat uh, surplus from uh, feeding a stately mana block. I may try to feed one block on additional meat, but I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. So yeah, we've sent off that stuff to Kerma, and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, so apparently the price of rolls of linen has gone up 30 demons. Apparently a hidden event happened where Kerma would buy more uh, luxury goods. So that's quite a steep increase in the price of linen. It has set up to 190, so it's actually worth something selling uh, linen to uh, Kerma here. They buy 2,500 now, so I may just open that up because we can't sell enough. I, I thought we we're actually selling way too little, and uh, so I may try to boost gems production a bit more. We'll just put down two more loads and see if we can flood this system. Uh, we are putting down three charity companies. Once um, I've got four fully developed charioteer companies. I'm just going to delete all of this. We should have more than enough chariots that this should not uh, be a problem, but I will keep an eye on that. Um, you can see here I've pretty much got all of my limestone set up. How many limestone coins do we have? Ten. That should produce more than enough for at least one of the ones. Now I have blocked in this one because I don't want to complete that just yet. I want to get rid of the one in the centre first. Once the one in the centre is done and I don't have to worry too much about it, I am uh, just keeping an eye on unemployment. It is going a little bit high, but uh, once we start to clear off uh, this military industry, I don't think we're going to be too 
uh, badly off, I just uh, get some plans to down. Uh, the extortions are still coming through, I'm not really showing them now, it's like 2,000, 2,500, and I'm just going to continue to pay them off until it becomes no longer viable, but we are making enough money that we should be able to continue to pay that off, pretty much indefinitely, uh, but I will keep an eye on that and make sure that we are paying enough, uh, we're getting enough income to support that. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going and we'll come back in if there's anything of interest that happens. I don't think really anything will happen until we stop paying Raw RT. Okay, so we're starting to construct the monuments. Unfortunately, they wanted to go to this one first, uh, which is one of the ones I blocked off, so I had to unblock it. It does mean that they're going to try and build these two at the same time. Now that helps because it means we'll get through it quicker by doing that. So they're not going to build this one until later. We have got all the straw coming in here. We should have enough clay production, I think. Uh, if we don't, then I have to just um, add in a couple of extra clay pits just at the end there, which should be fine. Uh, we are able to continually meet Roarty's requests without too much negative uh, impact on our our stuff. We're also making some beer, which is going to help with evolving our houses as well, which is what we want. I'm actually just going to delete this a little bit and just do that. Uh, I want to bring some beer closer. There's more extortion basically but we can we're able to pay that off and it has no negatives on our city at all now let's put down another architect's post there we're gonna have a few a, a little bit more architects than we really need but that's okay so yeah i'm, I'm just getting on with the monument constructions that's the main thing that i want to get done first because then at least at the end i can just work towards these goals last uh, which will be not too much of a problem it doesn't seem to affect kingdom rating paying off these extortions and um, so that should be fine. Uh, once the volumes are done, at least then I can get rid of all of this and start working on culture, which will make the mission significantly easier. We'll just plaza all, all of this. We've got, I mean, we've got like 40,000 out of nowhere. We could just plaza everything now. Just plaza all, all. There we go. We will provide a uh, beer to this block first, um, just because we want to get the people moving in. I don't want to evolve them. Oops. I don't want to evolve them too quickly because if we do that, we're going to screw up a lot of things now. Obviously our money is going down because of construction, but once we stop building and just let it run for a few years, we should be fine. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on going and I'll come back in once we're going to stop paying Royal Artist extortions, when we have the money and uh, the forces to do it. Okay, so just more extortion. At this point, um, I get enough money to be able to pay this off pretty much continually. I mean, if we have a look here, Last year we had to pay off 2,500 but we get a net in outflow of 8,800. So if we didn't pay that it would be like 10,000. So we're really not losing enough. Uh, we get about 9,000 in exports and about 15,000 in taxes. That's because uh, wage rate is a little higher and the tax rate is a little higher as well. So we can pretty much continually pay off these extortions in city request goods. It's like one a year. Yeah, like city request goods, extortion, blah, blah, blah. So it just goes around in a loop. Uh, meanwhile, these two monuments here are done. They just need a little bit more limestone, which there is plenty of. So I've gone ahead and unblocked this monument to get rid of all the bricks. Once we don't need bricks anymore, um, I will just let them export. I'll just not import any more straw. And once they're all exported, I'll get rid of all of this and replace this with a flax and linen industry. Now, we can't involve... I mean, I can involve them further, but I don't want to right now. We are short a lot of workers, but I do know that once we uh, start to evolve some of these houses and get rid of some of this industry, we should be fine. We're also importing a little bit of barley. Not a lot, but we are importing enough to keep this going. We can just put down an extra two of those, just to keep the supply going. We're just going to put down a firehouse and architect's post right there, uh, just on the other side of this road block. And I've also gone ahead and put down a dynasty mansion. We will need this to get the kingdom rating up. Everything else is going to be going along fine. We're getting the monument done now, so it's not a concern later. Um, just simply because I don't want to run out of wood, so uh, in case I just fail a request uh, at the wrong moment. We have enough warships, we've got, we've got all our military power, I'm just getting the monuments done now. So one of the, the requests, I decide to stop fulfilling the requests. I don't have to worry about monuments, it's really just the other ratings. So I mean you can see here, 60, 61, 16, the two here are done. They just need a bit of limestone, which is not coming here because of all this, which is fine. And I could add in additional work camps here and there. So I'm going to have all pomegranates on the floodplains. 
and all flax on this bit here. There should be enough here because I have gone ahead and put down a size temple complex with the um, altar, which is allowing them to use less, which keeps them going for a long period of time, which is going to be useful. So we've got the three common blocks. Once I've evolved them to the next level, that's as far as we will go in terms of common housing, and then I will set up a manor's area here. Probably no more than four or six, not too many. So yeah, that's an update on the city. Um, we just need to keep on going and just continue to build these points. Once the bricks are all used up in the mines, we will export them for some more cash, which we don't need. And then we will think about stop paying royalty for a tribute. So the centre island pyramid is done. You can see it right here. It just looks so nice. Um, I have disconnected it so they can no longer get across here. So that's going to be very useful. Um, this morning it's also done, um, it just got all the limestone. Now we ha I have calculated that there's only 192 blocks of limestone left and our yards hold all of the amount that we require. We've actually got a bit more, so we don't need limestone and I've also checked that we don't need any more bricks. So I've stopped importing bricks. Once all the bricks are used up in this monument, I will just export them. We're no longer importing bricks or straw, so once all the straw is depleted and all the bricks are exported, then I will be able to get rid of all of this and set up everything to be a nice linen industry to support our other goals. We are short so many workers, but we are going to need to evolve housing. I may even need additional housing blocks in places, uh, like just maybe a small common block here before I set up the manors area. I'm not too sure I'm going to do it. It's not going to be a block design like I normally build because it's not enough space. I mean, I could do it right here and then have a smaller common block there, but I'll think about that as we go. So, two monuments down. We're still making enough money to continually pay off Roarty. And uh, there we go, there's another bit of extortion, we can just pay that off. We don't even need to concern ourselves with it anymore because we make so much money as it is. There we go, two brick pyramids done, and we can actually just get rid of this crossing. Yes, I know part of the city is isolated, because we can just delete all of that. And I'm just going to get rid of that road as well, because it just looks tacky. But look at that, that looks so nice. But we can just make it look even better with the garden around it. Now it looks fine. I know it's not going to be perfect because a corner of it is touching the floodplain, but that's okay. So all we need to do is get 4,000 bricks into this monument, clear out the remainder of all this. Uh, and once all this is cleared, I'll be able to delete every single one of these guilds and things, which will save us loads of workers. And then we should be able to get on with the rest of them. They're going to have to go a long way around, which is okay. They can do that. In fact, I could easily just delete. Uh, let's just set this to not get. Let's get you getting instead and bring the carpenters over here instead. Um, because then we can uh, do that stuff over here. So we just got a carpenter's guild there and another one there. They should be fine. Uh, we don't need these ones anymore. Once these run out of woods, then we will delete them as well. So yeah, it's just one more moment to go and I'll come back in once it's done because then we can focus on the other goals of the mission. And here we go, the last Whatever it is, there's limestone that's gone up there, I don't know where it's gone, but there has been another bit of limestone just go up there, so that's just doing the, the last pyramid. And you can see I have cut back pretty much on all monument industries. We sold out all of the bricks we could, and we now have unemployment. Well, we don't have unemployment, but we do have workers available, so that's good. Uh, one of these docks I am probably going to delete and uh, replace it with a shipwright, just in case we do lose ships. Or I might just put it over here, I'm not too sure I'm going to do it. But we can now start turning some of this area into flax and linen production. And now that we have got rid of that um, industry. Now, I'm not going to do the linen yet, actually. Let's just not do the linen yet. We do need to import some papyrus. Now, we can just put the papyrus right here because the wood's going to just stockpile, pretty much, and not be of any use. And um, so we can just start importing papyrus. So let's import to maintain 2,400. And we'll start to put it into some of these areas here. I'll just delete that house. And we'll put a school in there. We'll start to evolve the blocks in basically quick mannered action. We'll just delete that. I said housing you too. We'll just put a, another school in there. We'll start to just get the blocks really uh, evolving quite quickly. Now, once uh, this monument is done, I'll delete every bit of this area. And I'm going to actually turn this into a bit of a housing line. It's not going to go right up to the top. Um, but we should be able to get a bit of housing here, which will help with unemployment. Because we are going to need it to support manors. Um, but I think we're at the point now that we can start to ignore Roarty and um, 
get on with the other events of the mission. We don't need any more limestone, we'll just get rid of that. So in fact, yeah, we don't need this anymore, so let's just delete all of this stuff here because it's just going to get in the way. Um, it's just not serving any use. We don't need the limestone anymore and it'll save us some workers in any case. Uh, we've also expanded the pottery industry just to make sure we have enough pottery being made. I think we've got enough clay pits to keep that going. In fact, we might just have a little bit too much so we can just delete one there. So yeah, the monuments are done. The monument industry is not going to be necessary anymore. We just need to stop paying royalty. I mean, we've been here for 40 years and it's taken us all that time to get these monuments done. So once the monument is done and I'm ready to, I am going to stop paying royalty and we'll get on with the other events of the mission that we need to fulfil to um, just handle that story part of the game. And there we go, all three monuments are now complete, so we can now get rid of all monument industries. So we can just delete all those stone masons, consuming workers. You can see here we have clearly imported some papyrus and started to evolve the house. I'm just going to delete that a little bit there, just to make sure we can get some nice 2x2 two two formations. I don't like like individual little housing formations, it just sort of looks nasty. And there we can delete that. Um, so it's given us workers, which is what we want. And uh, it's going to start pushing up prosperity as well, but it's not going to do very much because we do need manners to get that any higher. So we're going to continue to sell off the, the stuff here, which should be fine. Um, we uh, seem to be a little bit low on pottery, even though... I'm not sure why some houses are low on pottery and others are, are fine, but... Never mind. Uh, we can just set up some housing here. We just need a bit more housing, so we're going to just do... A very um, organic design, we'll say, and um, we'll just do housing to there. So we'll just put down um, water supply there. Let's just make this like as if it was my uh, other housing block design. So we'll have to have three buildings on this side because of that, but that's okay. But we're not going to do uh, too much with it. We're just going to do a few things here and there. We'll just do a couple of statues. Uh, whenever there's a big space, I will do a big uh, statue there. There we go. And then we'll put the firehouse. We'll put two firehouses down just because it is a pretty long block. And then that. And we'll do one police station right there. So we should be able to set up quite a bit here. And uh, we're not going to go too high with this, but we should be able to set up enough industry here that it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, but we will uh, have a look at that and make sure it doesn't collapse or anything. We can also turn this into a bit of a culture spam area as well and other things. So all three monuments are done, we now just need to work on the goals and I'll come back in once we've stopped paying royalty there are little bits of tribute. Okay so we've got our flax field set up, we've got seven flax fields and pretty much all the weavers we're ever going to need because we're not going to sell it. We don't need to sell any uh, linen because we really don't. I just realised we are not taxing this block over here, let's just uh, find a place to put this, I think. Um, I may just knock out a house, to be honest, because we have quite a few houses here that are not evolving, so we'll just put down a tax collector in their place. Oops, just put it to the corner there. So, we're not going to evolve this too high, but we will try to get up at least a common residence. It'll just look nice having a little bit of housing near the pyramid. It'll also give us population to work with. We have got 9% unemployment, which is going to be fine for everything else. Start to produce some linen, we can start to put in some mortuaries and start to take up culture because that's going to be the main problem on this map is getting enough culture. We can actually put a booth in right there, that's such a really nice efficiency there. Um, anywhere else I can put booths and things, I will just put them down and uh, start to work on those kind of goals. Um, so like there I can put a booth in and here I can put a booth in because it's going to you know, it's just going to work. Uh, but we are going to need a lot more jugglers, which is going to actually use up that unemployment, which is what we want, of course. We want to try and use up some of this unemployment that we ha will have in the city. And um, we can just do a couple of those there. That should help. And then a bandstand on the end there and so on and so forth. So we should be fine. We've got loads of common residences. I think the goal now is to really just set up a manor area. But I'm going to do that once we have uh, dealt with the stuff at Roarty, because uh, that's the the main goal here. I think we can just put a dentist in. There, yeah, we'll have a little dentist right there in that bit. And that'll help with all these other goals. So yeah, monuments are done. They just need these things. We actually need to get some more wood actually. I think we'll have to set up a stockpile of chariots, but not a concern right now. 
Um, might actually put down a tower to deal with this croc, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a deal because he will be fine, I think. I hope, anyway. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going. I'll come back in once we stop paying royalty. Okay, what's this? Because you did not send 2,500 debris to Roarty, Bubastis has decided they must reduce the amount of uh, papyrus stable sellers. Now they were at 2,500, it's now down to 1,500, but we can get more than enough papyrus from like three trade partners, so that really doesn't do anything to be honest at this point. So at this point, rejecting, um, one thing to note is that as soon as you reject the uh, extortion or city request goods or whatever, Bubastis will reduce the quantity of a random item that they sell, it may be, or buy, it could be jewellery, wood, or uh, papyrus, and then we will have to send troops. Meanwhile, we are stockpiling chariots again. We also put down a fifth fort that we didn't need, but we just put it down anyway, just because we might as well, just in case we need additional firepower, which I don't think we'll need. Um, once the um, battles and all that are done with, all of our military industry is going to be cut back quite a bit. I'm going to leave the, the forts, but I will delete everything else to do with military. Um, yeah, and we're also starting to put linen into mortuaries and start to get our culture up. It is quite low, uh, but we are going to uh, continually handle that by just boosting it. I've also separated the wood a little bit because it was a. Uh, it is off the edge of the screen there, but that map, this map's just like that, which is fine. Uh, we're producing more than enough luxury goods, we can't sell enough anymore. Um, but I'm not too sure how we're going to get the culture into because we are going to need a lot of little booths and intersections set up. Um, in fact, we can just put a booth right there. There's another one. Uh, I'm not too sure if that's going to affect culture in any way. We just don't have enough because we have only half the amount that we need. But that's okay. We've got all these common residences. Once we start to cut back on industries we don't need anymore, uh, we will have the population to support manors and things. I mean, I could even cut back on gemstones. We've produced too much now. Unless we start to transition towards taxes, I think we should be fine. We get about 18 and a half, 19,000 in tax which more than covers the 10,000 imports, so that's not too much of a deal. And given that we use uh, very little uh, commodities in the city anyway because of the Osiris benefit, we should be fine. And what's this? In pursuit of a long-standing feud, Bubasis is under attack and we need to send troops. In seven months, waterborne forces, we have four, shipwright, uh, four warships to send. They will be victorious. Um, might need to put down a shipwright actually to repair them, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a deal. So they'll come back, and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens as a result of uh, winning at Bubastis. Well that's good news, your troops capably dispatched a four at Bubastis, and Bubastis is now going to buy more luxury goods from us, but that doesn't really affect us, because, I mean they buy four or five in it, but we can't even sell that much. Um, we could possibly, but I I'm not going to. Um, so, their troops are back, um, one of them will have taken some damage, I just won't use that one. I might, I might send it off anyway. It's not going to make a difference, uh, I just would need to find a place to put down a ship right and get some wood over there. Which is not a concern right now, um, we actually seem to be low on wood imports, which is not too good. We can just let that stockpile again. It is probably just because trade has started to back up, but now that Ijitoy is only going to sell his papyrus, and later meat, it's not a concern. Manifair only sells papyrus and buys one item. Bubastis is only going to sell us a little bit of other things, so really trade on this one, it's not too much, it's not enough water trades to really block up one dock. And enough comes through that we can uh, deal with that quite easily. And there's a carpenter skill that we didn't get rid of, we just get rid of that, because we don't need them. Let's actually just set this to import to maintain 800, just so that we have a little bit more to last a while. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to keep on going. Bubastis is buying more luxury goods, and I'll come back in if any more troop requests come in. Okay, troops are needed at Roarte. Alert your soldiers for the Egyptian armies engaged in combat. At the distant city of Roarte, requires you to dispatch reinforcements there. Troops in 11 months. Um, waterboard troops again, we could just send these guys off. I know one of those is going to get destroyed, but I really don't give a shit. That, that's more than enough to handle a small force, so we'll just send them off. And you can see here, and I'm at this point just sort of working up the culturated by putting down things in just about any location I can. I know that's going to result in labour shortages, but we just have to put up with that. If needed, I'll just devolve a whole housing block, wait a while and re-evolve it, and that'll give us more fresher, younger workers. But we are going to have to suffer a labour shortage on this one, I think. Uh, look, just put down 
these two things here, because then I can just dump... Uh, actually, we'll not dump a Senate House here, because we can't... Um, uh, let's just roadblock here, and just so they go that way. Uh, the Senate House will be needed in our estate block anyway, so we're not going to worry about it. Well, Manor's block, rather. We make so much money, this is no longer a concern. Let's just send a gift off to the people of Egypt. We only need one more gift, and that'll be there. So really, at this point, we just need culture, a little bit of it, a bit of prosperity, which should be easy enough to meet, and kingdom rating, which is not going to be too difficult either. So at this point, I'm just going through the various story-based events, and then rushing to win the mission as quickly as we can before the city crashes and burns. Okay, our troops are back from the war because your troops helped win the day at Roarte. We have conquered them. So just like in Kamun, we're driven out in high sauce. Troops are back, we lost one warship, it doesn't really matter. I'll leave that there for a little bit, just in case we need it. I know there is another distant battle up at Sharuhen, um, but I'm not sure if we'll need to send any more waterborne forces, so I will just leave them there. Um, and they should be fine. We're not going to repair any of these or rebuild them or anything. You can see here what I have set up is basically a dump for all the resources we are going to need to support um, manors over here. So I'm just bringing them over now so that they're there. We're also importing meat into our yard and if there's enough surplus up here and these are all nice and stable, I might try to feed one block um, some additional food types just to get some more workers in. We are short so many employees but Maybe at one point I could just disable the whole industry, I'm not too sure. We have got all the chariots we need, so we're just going to delete that. Uh, I'll leave the recruiter for now, and uh, let's just delete the academy as well. So we don't really need too many more items in the city. Uh, how many meat are we importing? 4,000, that's fine. I think we've only imported from one place. I know I've imported from two places, but that's okay. So yeah, not too much left to go on the mission, we just need to work on... Uh, prosperity first, uh, culture will come with prosperity, and kingdom I can meet very easily by just sending off one gift. There we go. So we've got kingdom, monuments are done, population's there, we just need to meet these last two much more difficult goals. Okay, so here's a troop request. It seems to be based off of Bubasis asking us, uh, telling us that we are able to trade more luxury goods. Whenever that happens. Anyway, so Sharuhen needs troops in 13 months. What kind? Small force. Oh, well, we've got enough. Just set them all off. There you go, guys. We've won. Now, I have just tried to set up this um, area up here. Now, I'm trying to make sure that the Bizarre Buyer isn't glitching. Now, she has got workers. So let's just watch her for a bit. Now, she's doing this bug here, right? So she's not going to go and get stuff for whatever reason. So we are going to have to put a bazaar somewhere else just to see if she will stop that shit. Uh, this happens every so often on certain missions. I'm not too sure why, but for whatever reason, she will not go to the buildings and get stuff properly. I'm not too sure why, but it's a weird glitch. I'll tell you that right now. It seems to be doing something to do with putting it like this. I'm not too, I'm not too sure how this, uh, this bug happens, but whatever. We'll get um, food into these houses and evolve them. Meanwhile, we've got like 358,000 uh, in funds. And yeah, I'll just come back in once uh, Shiruhen is conquered. And then we can just, I'll just work on building up the city. Okay, so our troops have won the day at Shiruhen and we've conquered them. So that's all military done. The hikes also are expelled from this land. So now I can just delete all of this. We don't need that. And it looks so tacky just being near our stuff there. So that gives us some workers at least. And at this point, really, I'm just trying to feed the people. Now, I hope you're not glitching out again. There's a load I've deleted, apparently. Um, so hopefully you go out, get the stuff, and we'll be able to evolve this. If this glitches out too much, it's going to be a real pain. Now, I really hope to God that the beer's not going to come from miles away, but we might have to put up with that. So um, we didn't lose anyone, I don't think. Oh, we lost one across the board, but that's fine. So once all the forts are filled up, I'll just delete the recruiter, and then we'll just leave the... Chariots to stop power, I'll just have to make sure they don't burn down or anything because that'd be a crying shame if they this burnt down because I'd have to re import wood again, which I don't want to do. So, yeah, the mission's over. We've done the story part of driving out the hike sauce. We just need to meet these goals and win.
Okay, so we won the mission. I did need five stately manors, apparently, to get the prosperity up to 78. I've also had, had a bunch of houses around here, but they were dragging prosperity down as well. So I have just removed a bunch of them. The only thing we need to do now is uh, get these up. So let's just um, put down loads of these um, things. And I'm going to have to add intersections, which is not very really useful. I don't like putting this many intersections in, but we will have to do it, sadly, to win this mission. So let's just put down another dance school. There, I don't care if you spawn it right because we can just put down a little 2x2 two two there and that'll help. So we just need libraries, so let's just put down 1, 2, 3 and see if we win. We will just save again just to make sure that we don't... I need this to tick up to 70. So it says 70, I'm dispatching burial provisions. So let's just speed this up while he's needed. There we go, 70. No zoos are available in this map, so we have maxed it out. Cult, uh, the prosperity is just there with 5 of them. That was tricky. I had to delete houses and just try and get one to evolve as high as it could. So there we go. Let's just have a quick tour of the city. Three magnificent pyramids, our army, and everything else. Let's just check we've got all the stuff. We do. And a lovely city, but it is starting to collapse in and of itself. But we are short only a small number of people. We just needed this to get stable. And look at all the money we've got. I mean, how much money do we make? 20,000 in taxes, not too much in exports, it's paying, we are losing money, which is not too good. We could get into this any higher, really, unless I put in many more uh, miners, but we're fine. Let's set off 3,200 pottery, 1,600 linen, 1,600 luxury goods, and some chariots. Now please don't collapse in on the city. There we go, victory! We've done sortie, it was a challenge, but we got quite a bit of money. Quite a bit. 7,600 population. We did need this manor area to get the, the prosperity target, but you wouldn't have been able to do that with just fancy residences alone. Um, you would need a manor area on hard mode. I know on normal you can just about do it, but not on hard. Let us proceed and get past Sorty. You successfully inspired your generals to great victories on the field with promises of life everlasting. The Hyksos and their fearsome chariots have been driven out of Egypt. Again, technically, but if you're playing and uh, watching this by a card, then no, we have driven them out for the first time. So there we go, 70 culture. Prosperity actually just ticked up to 83 at the end there, which is quite nice. 68 kingdom rating, extortionate funds in the city. We could just keep paying off royalty indefinitely, but I didn't want to. 7,600 population and three medium mud brick pyramids. We took forever on that map. 687 months. But we did it on hard mode. So that was sorted. If you want to head to the next mission, which is going to decide the finale, click on the left hand card for the militaristic route, which is Biblos. Or if you want a bit of peaceful city building with high uh, culture and all that, click on the right hand card to end the peaceful city with Baki and Hitip Sanusret. But for me as a Duke, that's going to be that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.